Okay, we got, we're propped up on some yoga blocks. We had to, <laughs> this is part two of the Madonna story. Madonna, Richard E. Grant, and uh, San Sandra, or as John prefers, we call her Sandra. Yeah, Sandra Bernhard. Yeah, and this again, this is Richard E. Grant's book, With Nails. Mm -hmm. And if you have not yet seen the movie With Nail and I, just go see it right now. It's everywhere online. You can find it and go watch it. Now, listen. Right. So if Madonna and Sandra Bernhard, part one. So now all of a sudden, so here we are back at Madonna's pad and she's uh, entertaining Richard E. Grant and Sandra Bernhard with old Chinese food and screaming at her, uh, you know, uh, hot Latino young boyfriend. Right for being a dickhead and an asshole and for being a loser and having loser friends. And this is like, she's just met Richard E. Grant. Like he's her guest for the night. She's requested that Sandra bring him to her apartment for a Valentine's night party. And this was the party. No one else was there but them. And she's just bitch slapping her her boy toy, and then his friend, the boy toy's friend comes over and she's like, how come all your friends are fucking losers, right? <laughs> and then she was like, oh, we got to go. Come on, uh, fuck it. Let's get out of here. So they, they, they pile into Madonna's car and they drive to this club where apparently, and, and nobody knew that this was the plan for the night except Madonna. This was her, you know, here's what you're doing with me tonight, people. And I guess she wanted to be seen with a mo with movie stars. Like that was the only reason that she had them over, Richard E. Grant and Sandra Bernhardt. At least it seems that way to me. They pile into the car and they go to uh, a, the debut of one of Madonna's female backup dancer singers is having her solo debut which Madonna proceeds to railroad and wreck on this girl. They get there, and of course the whole crowd does not give a shit about the, the girl who's the dancer for Madonna, who's trying to pave her way in her own career. All they know is that Madonna has arrived with a couple of movie stars, and the, the girl is all but forgotten, and this is her night. They go backstage to, meet, to, to say hello to the girl, and the Madonna, in front of... Everyone else yells in the girls' dressing room, girl, uh, you know, you got some sorry-ass publicity pictures. You got to get yourself a better-looking uh, resume, like screaming in this fucking girl's, on this other girl's night. Mm -hmm. Then it's showtime for the poor girl. I forget the name of the other, but she had these two background singers and dancers on the on the tour, you know, that were just like kissing her ass constantly, like everyone around her did. So whatever she's, it, it sounds to me like the fact that this girl was forging her own way in the world was eating Madonna up that this is how she had to spend her Valentine's night berating some fucking uh, underwear model boyfriend, dragging around a couple of movie stars who she treats like a piece of shit, and then screaming at at the girl who's debuted it. And so the whole time inside, while the girl is trying to sing and dance and, and be part of, you know, the entertainment world, God help her. God help her. After working for Madonna, I would think that you would never want to do that again. But Madonna is like grabbing her uh, her boyfriend that two minutes ago she was screaming and cursing at. Uh, and she's like uh, eating his face practically for the cameras and drawing all this attention to herself. And then, you know... Then when you, they just leave, she just you know she, she couldn't stand watching the girl perform anymore. So they just leave, and she drags Richard E. Grant and Sandra Bernhardt out with her, and she just like dumps them in the in the in her driveway, like bye, all right, bye, you know, like get out of here now. It's like I had enough of you already. Mm -hmm. I, me and Madonna share a birthday. 
that is all we share. <laughs> She's four years older than me. She acts like a, f a petulant four-year-old. Every story I've ever heard, every vibe I ever had about that woman or story I've ever heard has just made me sick. And she is, John, go ahead and say it. She had, she's, she pretty much single-handedly uh, destroyed uh, popular music. Mm -hmm. Or m made things very off-center in her shenanigans as a rock starlet or pop starlet. She's no rock and roller. That's right. She She tried to be a rock and roller. She can't do it. She don't know what rock and roll is if it bit her in the ass. Madonna does not rock. No, she does not rock. I don't give a shit what anybody says. So anyway, that, so that was the end. And I was just like flabbergasted by this story. Amazing. It's the best memoir in the book so far. I got a few more pages to go with that with Nail Guy. But uh, many thanks to Richard E. Grant for writing this memoir because once again you have confirmed any kind of thoughts I ever felt. And I love. Oh yeah, that's my one of my favorite parts is they're in in a room. He's wondering why he's talking to Madonna, and she just won't make eye contact. She's just looking behind him, and he realizes there's a giant mirror behind him. So all she does while she's talking is like watch herself perform. You know, for, right? My older brother used to do that. If there was a mirror in the room, you could not have a conversation with. He would. It was like he just looked at that mirror. You could be like sitting right in front of him. He would like crane his neck around you to look in the mirror. Mm. Always. That's really a sickness, people. Mm. Did you do that? Ah. I felt like I was always looking for you. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I would I would sometimes look in my eye, like catch my, my own eyes in the mirror and say, whoa. That's the weird look on my face. What is that? Wow, I have a strange expression. <laughs> it was you looking at me, probably disapprovingly. Eh. Not always. Sometimes I was filled with love. Yeah? Yes. So, uh, thanks, Sean. That's nice. So, we're done for the night. Yeah, I almost thought you were gonna pick up that guitar, but no, you didn't do it. Ah, you didn't let you didn't let me off the hook so easy. Well, I told you the night is young. I might still pick up the guitar for a song or two. All right, no pressure. And certainly don't have to film it. No, I have no intention of doing that. I'm not a performing chimp. <laughs> I could perform just for you. <laughs> And Christopher, I know he enjoys when we play. Hmm. But I'm suffering from a bit of frozen shoulder, so I'm just kind of trying to work my way through that a little bit, and then maybe we'll see. If not, how about we'll make it a priority tomorrow to really try to play a little bit of ukulele at least. Okay. That's all right, Lena. That's fine. There's never a pressure. I just enjoy doing it with you, but... I know you want to do a paint job tomorrow, and, and that sounds fun too, but really I'll do anything you want. I'll lay and watch movies all day. I don't care. All right, honey. Well, you're, you're good. You're good like that. Mm. Should we do a radio reading before bed? Oh, uh, before bed. Sounds like we're going to bed. No, not really, but, well, you know, before movie time. Yeah, before movie time. Let's go. Things getting too Things getting too heavy. Yeah, that's a good one. Don't let things don't uh, don't let things get too heavy. Every let everything flow the way I want you to. Nine eighteen. Yeah. Don't start planning ahead. Don't start berating yourself for not doing enough. Don't start giving your aches and yourself aches and pains that are just little and don't make them bigger. Let's work on making them smaller. Why don't we put a bunch of crystals on our belly and our shoulders and take that in to do some crystal therapy do some passive uh body work that sounds great we have lots of crystals too uh, right here on the bed to do that with yeah 
We'll do the Selenite, the Labradorite. We'll do the Lemurian. We'll do some Shungite. We can do some Tiger's Eye, some Mother of Pearl. We got plenty. Did I say Selenite? You did say Selenite. Organite too. Yeah, we got it all. Let's do some crystal therapy, lover. All right, that sounds fantastic. And watch the movies. And watch the movies. Do you want to watch Grace at all? Yeah, we'll watch Will and Grace. That sounds kind of good. I wonder if the Mets is winning. Probably. The Mets won first game of a doubleheader today. New York Mets. Let's go Mets. Woohoo. And they're playing right now. Let's hope they're winning. Mm. How do I love you? Let me count the ways. How do I love you? Let me... Well, let me... I, I, what are your... I, Madonna is not a lady. You're a lady. She is so not a lady, honey. Mm-hmm. Do you think that she's a, a psychic person? I think she's got all kinds of channel issues. Uh, you're saying sold her soul. Uh, yeah, and there's no need to really go into it any further. She's not our, in our camp, right? She's not in our camp. You're showing me Paris Hilton. Why is that? Because she's your mother. No, she's not. No, she's... Why are you saying that? She's she she's not in our camp either. Why did you say she was my mother? Uh, your mother is here. All right. Don't get caught... Hi, Mom. Hey, don't get caught up in all this celebrity crap. All right. Seriously, don't. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there is an element of that Illuminati thing there. There's this uh, element of... Uh, well, it's danger, mm -hmm. but not to us, but to those who partake in that type of activity. You're looking at a bit of unsavory energy, and that's something we don't get involved in. Okay, gotcha. Mm. But yeah, that's no way to behave, the, the way you described, and that memoir by Richard E. Grant about our... It's no way to behave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Alina. Good good calling that out. All right. Time to put on the, the cooler and, yeah, and cool it. All right. Praise be God and Mother. Thank you for another day. Oh, and today our Savior link was Friends of Animals. Um, and we became members, official members today. And that's a brand new brand new uh, and they're in Darien, Connecticut and they're an amazing organization they've been around since 1957 I have heard their ads on the radio and I have never I don't believe uh, explored them and they are wonderful friends of animals so make a donation today right John yes and I love you and I love you too no worries no worries